Transmissions here, and don't mind the people over there. We're gonna cut the clips right now, and then I'm gonna open the box that's there. It should be the clutch, the clutch, the flywheel, and hopefully the hardware. But yeah, there it is. I've been waiting for like a month and a half. Five ever. Yeah, five ever. So let's go ahead and cut the clips, and then get a closer look at the tranny. But it looks good. If you guys are wondering, it has 55,000 miles. It's used. It's not brand new, but it's way better than a TR3650, the one that I had. So instead of having a 5-speed, I'm going to have a 6-speed. And for those of you guys that don't know, the T56 came in the Cobra's stock, which is like my dad's right there, the yellow one. So you can only buy them used as of right now that I know of. Um, but yeah, so this was from the parts farm. Even though it took forever, finally got it so thank you to the parts farm for pulling through with the deal so let's go ahead and get closer at the trend hey. I think this is the hardware. It should be. Alright, so this is obviously not the stock clutch that comes in the Cobras. I know because I asked my dad and he took he changed his clutch. So this is not stock. I don't know what it is, but I'm not gonna use it because I already ordered a new clutch for mine and that should get here tomorrow. Yeah, I got some other goodies coming, but that's in another video. But either way, I'm not gonna use this, but I would still like to know what it is. I'm not sure. It's red. Usually the McClouds are red. <laughs> but I don't know. McLeod, McLeod, McLeod. McLeod, McCloy. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, <look. laughs> it was. Wait, so what do you mean? But like the wheel. I'm gonna start wrapping my wheels. You want some amigos? Nah. The drive shaft is super light compared to the stock one. Maybe some of you guys don't care, but I care, especially for the amount that I paid. But yeah. It should be light, it's aluminum. The Cobras came stock with an aluminum drive shaft. So, yep. So of course, gotta get the decal and paperwork, which we don't really need. And there she is. And if you guys are wondering what type of clutch this is, it's a Spec Stage 3 Plus. 
and I think online it said it was good for about 850 torque so and if you're wondering why so much torque why did I buy it for the future I don't have to worry about this later just better to cry now than later so yeah and then I actually paid a little bit more to get the a lighter pedal fuel as it is it should be light that's what it said in the description and then on top of that I paid extra so it could be even lighter so hopefully it's pretty light and if it's heavy oh well but I just wanted it light for that faster reaction time but yeah let me take this thing out there she is nice and new this thing looks beautiful and if it does go out which I highly doubt or when it does which should be a long time from now I'll get a McLeod or McLeod however you want to say it twin disc clutch I'll get that later 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 from now but this should be more more than enough and here is the actual clutch disc which looks pretty cool it's like uh looks like like a copper almost like the color of a penny I don't know if you guys can see that on camera but uh, it said it was like half it, looks, it said it was like half carbon half I don't even know man I at the time I knew what I was buying but uh oh yeah and I also did not get a 10 spline the input shaft of the transmission is gonna be changed you guys will probably see that next video uh, but yeah this is a 26 spline if you're wondering so spec stage 3 plus 26 spline 850 torque it's gonna be pretty cool and I paid a little bit extra like I said so it could be a light pedal feel I can't wait to put everything together like it's crazy I'll be pretending I'm shifting in an automatic daily car which is dumb but yeah and then of course whenever I'm driving around I see like all these cool cars and it's just like it eats me alive like I need my car 50.